So today we will be demonstrating two different circuits which are not in resonance. So this first circuit over here has the capacitors too big and the second circuit has the capacitors too small. So what happens is when the capacitors are too big it becomes a capacitive load and when the capacitors are too small it becomes an inductive load. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. So as you can see, my two batteries are starting off at equal voltages. That's 12.03. Now I'm going to turn it on. So as you can see, this battery over here starts climbing a little bit faster. It's already up to 12.11 and this is still at 12.09 so this one is working a little bit better now I'm going to try to let you hear the sound this is what it sounds like when you have an inductive load it makes a high pitch sound and this is what it sounds like when you have capacitive load it makes a low pitch sound So as you can see, this one is working better. It's already up to 12.15, and this is still at 12.12. .12. And the input is the same. 3 amps, 6.9 volts. 3 amps, 6.9 volts. So the reason that this circuit is doing better is because these smaller capacitors are closer to the resonance frequency so you can see it's charging that battery a little bit faster so everything else is the same the same power supply same toroids same batteries, same meters. The only thing that's different is these capacitors. These capacitors are too big and these capacitors are too small.